Which colleges are you applying to? What are your stats? What are good topics to write a college essay about? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be getting ready for my senior portraits. They're at 3 p.m. I have two hours to get ready, look cute for these things. While I do this, I thought it'd be fun to answer some of you guys' questions about college. It's been four weeks since I've been a senior and I'm currently swamped with school. That's why my posting has been kind of on and off. I'm currently studying for the SATs and trying to get college applications and doing actual school at the same time. And I hope you guys can understand if I don't post a week or two or I don't really know. Can we like start getting ready? I think so. First thing I'm gonna start off with is a toner. This is my Nia Sinai toner, my baby, my lover. I love it. Um, I'm just gonna dump some of this on here. Someone said, are you looking forward to living alone? Well, okay, so basically, if you watched my last video, you knew that I lived alone for about 20 days. And I mean, obviously, it w I did succeed, I did not die, but I realized how hard it is to live alone because you have so many responsibilities. Like, not only do you need to take care of yourself, but you also need to take care of the entire house that you live in. It's so hard, but I do think that I'll be able to pull it off. And also, I'm not gonna be like living alone alone because I will live in a dorm, but I'm still like excited and nervous to do that. I also don't know like where I'm going to college, which is just another thing. Thing that I love. I semi-finalized the schools I'm going to apply to. Um, I'm planning on filming like a whole video just based on my college applications and like maybe do a series of what I'm doing, like how I finalize my list, how I'm gonna pick my major, which I have not done yet. <laughs> oh, I'm so over the place. I am so behind on college applications. Don't even get me started on that. By the way, I'm putting on some eye cream because I do not want my eyes to look dead when I take these photos because I, you know, I kind of want to look good for these. You know what I mean? What is your top university choice? I think I'm going to major in business. I think that's like the one major that I'm going to go into and my top choice, this includes my hardest reach school would be UPenn because UPenn is the number one business school in America. And so I kind of want to go there. Um, it is in Pennsylvania and I'm actually going to go to Pennsylvania in three weeks to not only look at the college, but also just look around the city, see if it's something that I could see myself living in. And I've never been to Pennsylvania, so I'm excited. I've seen online campus tours and it's just so beautiful. And I don't know, man, like Philadelphia just seems like a place that I could see myself living. By the way, I just put on some niacinamide serum so my face could be hydrated. And then now I'm just gonna spray my face with this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. Someone said, which colleges are you applying to? So the finalized list, um, I think, I may be missing some, is UPenn, Northwestern, Northeastern, University of Virginia, University of Chicago, Boston University, NYU, the UCs. The UCs include Santa Barbara, Berkeley, LA, USC. Ooh, I'm missing some, I know I'm missing some. I'm putting on some concealers so, you know, I don't look like dead in my senior portraits. What are your dreams about college? What are the things you wish to happen to you in college? Maybe get a boyfriend. I feel like that'd be nice. I also don't wanna have like super high expectations for college. High expectations always ruin everything. And it's like really annoying when you build a scenario up in your head and then it just doesn't go that way. So I don't wanna come out here and say like, oh, I want this to happen, this to happen. And then like, if none of those things happen, then it's just gonna be like, uh, well, that's kind of, sad. I hope I have like good professors and I just hope that I'm comfortable where I'm going and I I just hope that I don't have any regrets. That's like the one thing that I'm scared of. I just don't want to have any regrets when I go to college because I just don't want to end up having to say, oh, I wish I did that instead. Like, I just don't want to say that at all. Next up, I'm going to bake. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I don't normally bake, but I feel like it's good to bake when you're taking photos. I feel like I've just always heard that tip. Someone said, how did you decide where you wanted to apply to? And I thought this was a really good question because just last weekend I was finalizing my list and I had to basically come up with the colleges that I wanted to apply to. In order to kind of know what colleges you wanna to apply to, you kind of need to know what you wanna major in because that plays a really big role in where you're gonna go. Because let's say you wanna be, I don't know, a psychology major. You're gonna to wanna to apply to a school that has like 
that's like probably the top five in psychology. You know what I mean? Like UPenn is number one in business. Stanford's probably up on that list too. So like, I would want, well, there's no way I can get into Stanford, but <laughs> I'm saying, for example, you would apply to those schools. So if you don't know exactly what you wanna major in, then the first step would be writing down basically every single interest you have, everything you like, and I mean everything, like, you like therapy, go, put that on your list. You like art, put that on your list. You like organizing stuff, put that on your list. And then you kind of just see a general pattern and find commonalities between each thing that you wrote down. And then from there, you can kind of make like a flow chart. Is that what they're called? Yeah, you can make a flow chart that kind of leads you to one final answer. And I'm not saying this is gonna happen in one day. That is like the one way that I figured out what I wanted to do. And also I've just been really interested in business and I feel like I'm kind of good at it because YouTube is low key a business. I hope that I answered your question. Someone said, are you sad that this is your last year of high school? Obviously I'm sad because it's like the end. After four years, like all you've worked for is finally coming to an end and it's even Worse because it's coming to an end during a freaking pandemic and I don't even know if I'm gonna get the proper like celebration. I'm also quite happy because it's just such a new chapter in your life, like college and I don't know, like I'm excited for that chapter to start. I'm excited to see what I do with that. Like I'm kind of like wondering, like I asked myself like, what are you gonna do now? Like I wonder what you're gonna do. But I am super sad that it is your last year, but I feel like I'm more excited that it's over, then I am sad that it's over. Next up, I'm gonna do some brows. I mean, I'm not really gonna do anything. I'm just gonna put on some gel so they stay in place. One question that I got a lot was, what are your stats and like your GPA, your test scores and stuff like that? Well, I don't have a test score just yet because I have not taken the SAT yet. My total weighted GPA is a 4.3. My unweighted GPA is I think it's a 3.97, something like that, maybe 3.96. I would say like my grades are pretty decent. I've been a hardworking student all of high school, so it's finally nice to see that pay off in somewhere, you know. By the way, I just put on a little bit of blush. This is the Milk Makeup Glow Oil. So those are my stats, I guess. If you don't know the difference between a weighted and an unweighted GPA, Basically, a weighted GPA takes into consideration all of the hard classes you've taken, basically like APs, any honors, any advanced classes, like it takes into account. And so it gives you more points because those classes are a little bit harder. An unweighted GPA doesn't take into consideration the difficulty of the class, so it just gives you the point based on your grade in the class. Blush is done. I'm gonna put on some highlighter. I'm starting off with my Chanel like stick. This is amazing. If you don't have this, you need this in your life. What are good topics to write a college essay about? It's funny because I came up with what I was gonna write in my sleep. Like, obviously it was a memory that I've had, like something that I've experienced before, but I just completely forgot about it. And I think the best way to come up with what you're gonna write with is, well, cause okay, you don't necessarily have to write about something traumatic that happened to you. Like I feel like a lot of people fall under that misconception. And so I think the best question to ask yourself is what is the highest point in your life? And what was the lowest point in your life? And that's how I basically like realized what I wanted to write about. Cause I was like, oh my God. I think that's just a, like a really good question to ask yourself when you have no idea what to write about. It honestly helps so, so much. I'm talking about this like I've like done my college essay already. Like I haven't even started it, but I mean, at least I have the idea. Someone said, are you scared about finding your people? This is the thing that I really like about college. It's like you kind of need to meet a certain criteria to go in. So the people that are going into the school are very similar to you because both of you met the same exact criteria that made you go into that school. So in a way, you guys already have so much in common with each other since you were able to get into the same school, which is very different from high school where they just stuff everyone in there. And it's it's nice because you're not like completely foreign to them, if that makes sense. You already have so many things in common. Also, can we just like quickly take a look at this mascara because it's amazing. It's from Pat McGrath. It's their Dark Star Mascara. I think the only thing we have left to do is lips. This is the Buxom Lip Liner in Hush Hush. I really like it because it's like the perfect natural tone and I don't like to go like super deep with it too. Just very gentle, very soft. 
It also comes with a little brush that I like to use to blend everything in. Lastly, to top it all off, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Lip Balm. It's like very sheer and it just makes it nice and glossy. We're done. This is our makeup. It's very natural, very glowy, just the way I like it. I think these photos are gonna turn out good because the makeup looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna do my hair and also do my outfit because I apparently need to wear like a specific dress code. Like I don't freaking know. Hair time. If you don't already have one of these baby straighteners, you need one in your life so much, especially if the fronts of your hair are kind of awkward like mine. First, I'm gonna use some heat protecting spray. This is from Gizu. Now I put on the curler and I'm just gonna curl. I'm gonna grab a hair mist. This is from Nature Lab. It's called the Perfect Shine Oil Mist. This smells so good. Grab a little bit on my hand. You know how it goes. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna put on my outfit, finalize it all, and then I guess we're heading out, getting my photos taken. So, I put on my little outfit. I think I'm supposed to wear like all black. I think they provide like the cap and gown and all of that there. Like it just depends on what you wanna wear. This is my jewelry, by the way. Very simple. And then just this small little necklace. I just want it to be very plain and simple and like minimalistic, if you know what I mean. I'll see you when we get there. guys we just finished up the photos um it took literally like 10 maybe 15 minutes it took so short and online it said it's gonna take like an hour now we're going back home i hope you guys enjoyed watching this set get ready with me i hope i answered some of your college questions and maybe now you know what senior portraits look like thank you guys so much for watching i love you so so much i will see you very soon bye guys